Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Beating Grandmaster with Stupid Stuff. And today the plan is going to be relatively simple. I want to be getting my first um, structure uh, to be an upgrade structure. So <laughs> rather than getting a quick barracks, I am going to be building a, a an eBay. I probably need a gas first actually in order to afford a fast plus one. And I'm going to be rushing out the upgrades. <clears throat> that is the entire plan today. And our first opponent is called The Sheriff, and is a random player that is about 5k-ish MMR, maybe slightly higher, maybe slightly lower, I'm not so sure. Um, I don't think I can actually get enough gas quick enough to truly afford this. Maybe I also should have proxied this barracks over here, so everything would have been properly hidden. Now, ideally, this is either a Protoss or a Zerg. If I'm currently playing a TVT, I think this game is basically over. I at least believe it's going to be really, really difficult for me to win. Um, but if it isn't, then, you know, if it's Terran or, or if it's Protoss or Zerg, we might actually have a decent chance. So I want to stay on one gas. Now, the, the reason for that is because I still want to expand rather quickly as well. A little bit later, of course, than I usually would, but not the end of the world. Uh, I can follow this up with perhaps a fast third CC as well. Um, as you can see, I can now start my plus one. This has to be the fastest plus one, honestly, that is possible. I don't think it's possible to rush out upgrades faster than this. So we'll go 1-1 one, one, and we'll actually do, you know what, we'll do a marine marauder timing with 1-1 one, one upgrades where usually it would hit with no upgrades. Now we're going to hit slightly later and have some really sick upgrades. I actually think this, this might have some real potential. It doesn't even sound too bad, honestly. Gonna get a depot over here as well. Now my command center obviously initially is a little bit delayed <coughs> because, well, I built this eBay first and I opened up with a quick gas as well. All a little bit painful. My opponent hasn't scouted me as of yet. Um, that scares me a little bit, I think. I, I mean, it's not that bad. I can just... Should I get a blind bunker or just a third barracks? If I'm afraid of life, I'll get a bunker. But if I love life, I'll just go, yeah, third barracks. It's, it's less safe, but more fun. Like most of the time, things that are less safe tend to be more fun. Like bungee jumping skydiving you know it's more fun than uh, playing monopoly which also is a relatively dangerous game um I'm going to rally into this gas my plus my plus one armor can almost start i think i need to start my plus one armor before i get stim as well if i'm not mistaken <clears throat> that would make some sense and we're going to continuously be upgrading very fast. So it's not just that we rush out the first upgrades. Like we just go real fast, real quick upgrades. It's going to be like a, a five minute one one timing. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to this. I think it's going to be good. Uh, you're gonna, ooh, ooh. yep, stim. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to be slightly faster than this, but that's okay. We haven't scouted anything yet. Oh, it's an overlord. Oh, okay, well this this could actually work. This could. Oh. Don't want to be losing both of the mules. I can lose one maybe, but I won't. I'm going to keep both of them alive. That's actually very good for me. That actually is very good for me. Um, get a depot over here as well. Did I end up killing that overlord or no? I'm not sure if I did. A weird timing for these links to come in, by the way. You already have plus one right now, so these links died faster than he probably thought they should have. We're going to hit like a freaking truck over here with our push. This is a, like legit, what, a five minute push? It's going to be a five, uh, slightly later. Like a 520 push or so with one one, combat shield, stim, plus one. I probably already need to start my armory as well. Oh, I need a factory for an armory. Oh, dang it. I've only been playing this game for 12 years. No biggie. I completely forgot about that. Well, now my armory is going to be a little bit delayed. That feels stupid. That really does feel quite stupid. Two more of these. I want one more depot right now, just so I can finish my wall. This seems like a finished wall to me. I'm not sure if it actually is, but looks pretty darn finished. Looks pretty darn finished. Should we start moving out already? It's like 30 seconds away. We actually have a big army. We actually do have a really, like really just a sizable, a sizable force here. Um, we're going to hit the fastest 2-2 timing anyone has ever seen in their life. Like my first two medevacs. Um, <laughs> Let's get a second eBay here. Okay, we'll see if we can deal any damage here right now. Or if we're going to be stuck. I'm gonna need 
probably an extra gas in order to uh, afford my next two upgrades. If he doesn't have Banelings and just pure Queen, I think this will work. If he has Banelings, yeah, it might actually still work. He's roaches. Probably worst case scenario. Actually, dude, look how strong my units are. Boom. Bang, bang. You're dead. This would not have happened without the upgrade. Dude, upgrades are proper broke. I actually think this build, uh, it's not good, but it's not that bad either. Look at this. Look at this. Up. Two, two starts. Going for another stim in. Maybe he's doing something, by the way. I hadn't really considered that, but he could be doing like a Nidus or something along those lines. We uh, have our 2-2 start already. These actually are the fastest upgrades. Uh, tanks? No, I don't need tanks. My, I think I could hit a 2-2 timing before he, he, he even has plus one. Oh, he's coming for me. Surely that's a mistake, no? It is. Oh no, he already has plus one attack. I'm just chasing this guy. Dude, he has no chance. He actually has no chance. Look how afraid he is. Run! Um, okay, that's almost done. He's gonna come again. I mean, you're still not going to be capable of, of killing me. Hop. Hop. I don't think I properly set that back home. Double drop, perhaps? Yep, definitely a double drop. This actually works. I wonder how well this would work against Protoss. I'm... I honestly believe this isn't the worst build. It's not the greatest, obviously, but... Man. Hmm. Let's have some crap here. I want to start mining from my third at some point in the future, at least. Sending these over here as well. Man, my units are very powerful. Uh, we, we go in for uh, a plus two, plus two timing attack. It's not hitting quite as hard as I thought, or not quite as fast as I would have thought. I mean, I realized that two minutes is, is still really fast for 2-2 two, two to hit, but... Probably need to run away a little bit longer. Okay, now it's done. We start 3-3 three, three immediately. I think we just win this fight. He has no carapace upgrades. I'm ripping through him. I should have uh, target fired, obviously. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, these fights are probably very confusing for him. Because you're looking at the fights and this is not what's supposed to happen, you know? Like, he's like, huh, that's, that's kind of weird. He's gonna, yeah, we're absolutely owning him. No shot, look, I'm not even dying. I'm even close to dying. Freaking Hue as well. Brrrp. I don't think I've built anything but Marines and Medivacs as well. This has been fantastic. Up. I mean, he's just absolutely dead at this point. It's like you're popping balloons with your Marines. Like, no matter what you're shooting. Usually roaches feel somewhat tricky, but here... It's like, I just... I deal so much damage. Oh, I probably should start moving these across the map as well. Up. Uh, he's maybe going to try and counterattack here or what? I mean, even with a counterattack, there's there's no way I see this work. Because I just have too much crap. Maybe we can still hit the three three timing. No, that's going to take way too long. We stim in one last time. Scan forward. Look at this. Actually popping them like balloons. Not the tightest micro, but I don't think that's really going to matter. No carapace upgrades. That's kind of crazy anyway. Crazy. The cowboy takes out the sheriff once again. It's a pretty sick build order. eBay first. Now gas first into eBay. Ah, 
I like this. We'll try this again. I kind of hope I get a Protoss next, though. Um, because I think against Toss, this would also be very surprising for the Toss. Because they're kind of used to their units not dying. And then like you, you actually destroy Zealots as well, which could be really strong. Like some sick 2-2 timing with Ghost. Like 8 minutes. I think it has some potential. See you guys in game number 2. Okay, we got ourselves a 6k. Almost a 6.1k player. 6k and 84 points. This is like a top 50 Grandmaster player. And it is a Protoss. And I'm feeling it. We're going to change up the build order a little bit. Just ever so slightly. You guys won't even notice unless you're playing, paying very close attention. Just uh, the slightest the slightest little change. We'll actually open up still with the gas first. I think that's a good play. But we'll get a barracks before the eBay. The reason we do that is because I don't think my eBay will be idling. Like my eBay will still be idling. Like I can't immediately start it because I'm just lacking gas. Unless I open up with two gas. But I think that actually would make this game completely impossible to win. Like completely impossible to win. So I'm just going to start rallying straight away into this base. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Yikes. Um, and then as a follow up we'll get the eBay here. We kind of want to hide it again. Don't want to show our hand if we don't need to. The thing I'm most afraid of is my opponent just, you know, sending in a probe scout and seeing this eBay and be like, man, this is stupid. And then the moment you see an eBay, you know it's going to be three wrecks as well, most likely. So that's really what I'm just afraid of. I could also follow this up with triple CC, by the way. But I like the thought of, of, of three wrecks in here, honestly. I, I just really like the thought of that. I'm going to cut out this worker. Don't need to build the next one, that's for sure. Up, oh, look at that. Fits perfectly, like a glove, ladies and gentlemen, like a glove. I'm not being scouted, by the way, which scares me a little bit. Actually, it does scare me a little bit. Because my, my, my CC is so late as well, you know? So, so late. So any type of early harassment is actually going to be close to impossible for me to stop. Because I'll just lose my low ground CC because it has no HP. And I won't finish it in time. Which sucks. Actually, it does suck. Oh. Probably want to be getting this depot right now. Cut my worker for a little bit. Also not ideal. So there doesn't seem to be a proxy over here, which is nice for me. If he opens up with like a zealot or something, that would suck. If he... Well, honestly, if he opens up with any type of aggression, it's just going to be so, so bad for me. I will have pretty fast marines. And don't forget, I'm also going to have just a really quick plus one. Like... I might have plus one by the time his second stalker arrives if he tries to attack me. <laughs> I, uh, that, that, that does not sound correct, but it is correct. Oh, we got a second gas. We continue rallying into this one as well. Yeah, yeah we're actually going to get plus one right now. If, he's, if he decides to move out this way, like against an Oracle or something, all these early game interactions are going to be really weird for him. Because he will be like, hey, well, like, what, what's going on here, you know? This one needs to piss off. There we go. Because uh, he's just going to lose them for no reason. It's like, man, I, this, shouldn't, this shouldn't be such a bad trade, right? Right? And then boom, I own him. That's kind of going to be the plan. Uh, I wonder if I can defend yeah, with, with three... Three marines should be plenty with plus one, right? To deal with one oracle? I think so. Definitely. I'm not worried about it whatsoever. And we have five marines here with plus one. Okay, first upgrade is done. Three minutes and 30 seconds into the game. I'm going to get a depot over here as well. He hasn't scouted me once, uh, by the way. I'd like to kind of plant a flag there where everyone can see it. Just, um, hey, what's going on over here? Combat shield needs to start soon as well. Is this real? It is real? No, it was fake. That was, <laughs> that was not real. That was absolutely not real. Um, we still quite don't know what he's playing, though. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Is there a third base on the way? I think these are things that I kind of do want to know. Okay, third base on the way. He's getting a battery. But what is his opener? Or what was his opener? Because we're already kind of... Oh, wait, I need to get a factory. I forgot it again. I forgot my stupid factory again. It's so important with this because otherwise I can't get my follow-up upgrade. I'm going for a sick 2-2 timing, by the way. That's the that's the purpose. That's the plan for today. OK, 
Okay, you know, 40 seconds away from this. You can wait for maybe like two more Marines or so. Or extra gas as well. You can piss off again. Okay, here we go. Here we go, boys. Here we go. So we're hitting about... Usually you hit at the five minute mark. We are hitting about 20 seconds late with... Oh, crap. With like three more Marines or so. And with one one upgrades. So it actually is a pretty big deal. Like... This build really, I, I wasn't joking when I said, I don't think this is too bad. But it is also not brilliant, you know? Like, okay, 1-1 one, one is done. I wonder if we can fight this. He's going to be real confused. I want to fight over here, obviously. Look how fast they die. No, no, no force field. No way. I don't think I've ever beat someone at this level. Is this build accidentally good? It is possible. Okay, we're getting an extra one. We don't have too many marines at home. I did not macro completely properly behind this. Okay. 2-2. Two, two. Um, I think I actually want to cut some workers here. The reason for that is so I can afford the extra barracks. And then I'm also going to get the, the Ghost Academy pretty quickly from this point on out. And with the Ghost Academy, we're going to set up the, the plus two timing of a lifetime. So these worker cuts are actually on purpose. It's not because I'm bad at macro, although I'm also bad at macro. Um, <clears throat> but it's because I, I, I want to hit a tight timing here with these upgrades. It's actually going to work. It, the traits, I think, the, the, the thing that people... Uh, underestimate here is that my traits are going to be so ridiculously good um, just just because you know that they don't they don't realize how how good it looks like how good my units are so everyone misjudges the traits that took a long time for me to say by the way but that's completely fine you can't always be perfect in your speech unacceptable landing zone does he have any upgrades? He has no upgrades whatsoever. So we're going to get some ghosts out right now. We're going to start clearing stuff on that side of the map as well. Three ghosts with the shockwaves. I mean, these pylons are all going to fall. There's going to be like one more pylon over here. You can feel that already. Where are you at? Oh, he's not actually here. Maybe he has a, an observer that I can clear. Doesn't seem to be the case. Does not quite seem to be the case. Okay. We have one. One ghost. That's two. How far are we in? We're really close to it. We're really, really close to it. I know we have one more ghost on the way, no? I thought we had three ghosts. Oh, no, I guess we didn't. Well, it is what it is. Only two ghosts. Um, crap, we're not actually hitting our timing super tight. My plus two just finished. We can immediately start plus three on both. And we're going to follow this up with a fourth base as well on location. Let's see if he has a fourth base yet or not. I don't think he will. I really don't believe it. I don't think we can actually attack into this, though. Yeah, you go find this. Plus one. Not enough marauders, maybe, though, huh? Look at this. Look at the melt. Look at the melt. Actually, is he the one melting, or am I the one melting? Freaking Colossi don't need upgrades, man. I said what I said. I'm going to get some of these. I mean, it's still not the end of the world. Like, we're definitely in somewhat of a playable position. Uh, we have a massive army at home still waiting as well. We 
should have gotten faster upgrades for the for these units as well. Ah, he did have this space. Should we get some more ghost, or do we just let that be for now? So we're kind of setting up as if we had won the fight, but then we lost the fight. Oh. <sighs> I thought we had him. If we could have waited for plus three before our next fight, we would have been up four upgrades. Should I have not attacked into him? I mean, up three upgrades in this fight, though. Nah, this army was too small. I just didn't have enough production yet. Should have attacked this right side. Dang it! I think this really could have been a win. Here, maybe if I just micro back. I thought... I didn't think there was this many zealots. So I thought I could just spread out and then move forward. But there were so many zealots, I obviously should have kited in this case. Because now the Colossi get full damage output. Like, this type of concave is good if you're playing against a more stalker-based army, but not against this. Uh, the early game definitely worked, though. Like, it's so difficult to judge this. Like, this is the sickest setup as well that he has. He's like, oh, that should be completely fine, right? I have, like, two immortals, three sentries, five stalkers. But then here I start fighting, and it's like, this stuff is freaking melting. Like, it just drrr, it disappears. Like, I'm cheating, you know? Actually feels unfair. Kill a bunch of works here. This was a... Oh, look at that trade. That's a crazy trade. All right. We're going to try one more time. And hopefully another toss. I think toss is, would be the easiest for me. So see you guys in game number three. Actually got the Protoss player that we wanted. Jeros. Good old Jeros. 5.3k Protoss player. Low Grandmaster. Man. Every single time this type of stuff happens, I, f I feel like I, I should have won. I really feel that. Yeah, that is what it is. I guess you can't win them all. Um, I kind of want to switch up my opening build order a little bit. And <clears throat> see if we can, you know. It's it's fun to, you know, when you're trying this stupid stuff, to, to optimize it. But it's also fun to figure out something new. So this time what I'm going to be doing is I'll open up with a straight command center. Just command center first. A barracks, double gas, and then double eBay in the main base. So um, really hitting that extremely fast timing. And then everything is going to kind of revolve around the 2-2 two -two timing attack that we're going to hit, which should be pure bio still at that point. And then as a follow-up, we're going to try and get there with... Um, with like 3-3 three, three and then Ghosts and Vikings and all that good jazz. It's kind of the... That's the game plan. Now, of course, ooh, things can happen in a Terran's life, which uh, can be frustrating. can be very frustrating. Kind of need one gas at least. That's for sure. Okay. You continue here, buddy. You go get my second gas. So... Some good damage there on that worker. Even dealt some hull damage, which is always important. I hope he doesn't get the scout in my main base. I was kind of hoping he'd stay downstairs. Also, hope he doesn't. Okay. After he leaves here, I'm going to start my first eBay. Don't think I need this much gas, but then again, I don't know what I do need, so. I don't think you can actually fight here, but whatever. Okay, maybe I can't fight here. Never mind, never mind. I take everything back. I take back what I just said. I can't quite afford the orbital yet because I'm getting my upgrade slightly too fast. That's bad because it's going to cut into my money by quite a bit. It's not entirely what I wanted. It's not entirely what I wanted. Whatsoever. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is going to make matters pretty difficult here. Um, 
I was thinking, if I get Void Ray proxied, I might have 1-1 one, one by the time the first Void Ray hits. It's actually not completely true. I'm still too slow for that with 1-1. One, one. Void Rays hit so fast these days. Can I get a surround, maybe? Oh, we're in so much trouble right now. Oh, we're actually completely dead. This isn't even going to be close. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yeah. GG. Nah, it's not it. Not it. Salad into a death just killed me. Should have probably built more marines here. Delayed the reactor. Could have gotten faster upgrades with that as well. Now this completely sucked. This completely sucked. All right. I think that's going to be it for me today. I tried my best. Had some decent success with it, honestly. I think in the Protoss game, if I followed it better, well, this. Let's forget about this one. I mean, I did win a game against Zerk as well. So, uh, I think relatively successful. Now, I would like all of you to suggest so something for next week, and I specifically would like some concepts again. You know, rather than just being, hey, make this unit or do this thing, uh, make it something spicy, you know, uh, similar to pretending to be AFK, but not pretending to be AFK. That's what I'm looking for. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you did enjoy it, um, despite the mediocre success today. If you did, don't forget to like, button, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you all next time for a new video. Thank you and bye-bye.